it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest. My one, my only. The Beyonce. perfect guy in the world. <laughs> Slater! I'm so happy that he is here today because you guys have sent me so many requests asking for him to guest back on my channel. So here he is. Wow. Yeah, I know. Everybody loves you. I hate it. Yeah. But today we are going to do a very interesting video. It is also very highly requested and it is a relationship advice video. So I put out a question on Instagram stories and you guys have sent me DMs asking me a few questions about our relationship and your relationship. And in today's video, we are going to try to answer them all. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. Then trailer, Chris's trailer. I don't, have a, I don't have a trailer. Oh, you don't have a trailer? I don't have a trailer. You should make me a trailer. Trailer! <laughs> trailer, yeah. Alright, so we are going to answer a few questions that you guys have asked us on Instagram. And the first one is, in Bisaya, Have you tried na nag-away mo o grabi ka ayo nga hapit mo nagbuang? Islam ka mo, Bisaya. Ang sama na dapat ba? Have you tried na nag-away mo o grabi ka ayo na hapit mo nagbuang? Oh, bito na ako gigon. Have you tried na nag away mo grabe ka ayo na that the happy to be good? Well, to those of you who can't understand this question, the person is trying to ask if we've tried having such a big fight that we almost broke up. Yeah. The answer is no, I think, unless there's something that I don't know. <laughs> we've had really big fights, but it never came to a point where it's not gonna work out. Yeah, but most of the time it's really Slater's fault. He likes to fight me. See, and I just say yes, okay, it's my fault. That's why we don't get to like really big fights because when she's angry, I'm just like... Yeah, right. Okay, so this is something that I want to really talk about because a lot of you guys have asked me this question. In the hundreds of questions that you guys have asked us, this is maybe 50% about how we fight, wow. what the fights are about, and how we deal with our arguments. I think that's a really good part in our relationship with Slater is that our communication is really good. So we don't fight as much as other couples, I would say, right? I'd say. And in the few times that we have had big fights, maybe I can count them with my hand long, maybe three or four. It's really rare that the two of us fight. And when we do have big fights, none of us really try to be the winner of the argument. Like, we don't try to say, na, oh, this is your fault, this is your fault, you did this to me. It's more like, this is how you made me feel, and I hope that we can address this. I hope this doesn't happen again. And basically, that's why hindi kami dumating sa point na we, we're almost gonna break I up. I think the, the best thing is, whenever we have big fights, we talk about it. And it never came to my silent treatment, or next day na pag -usapan. It's just, when it's fresh, you calm down. When the emotion is not as right there. Elevated. Yeah, you talk about it. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's more of communicating, trying to understand how the other where? side feels, uh, where she's coming from, yeah. where I'm coming from, um, so that you can find a balance on why you miscommunicate. I think yeah. most fights come from that miscommunication. And I think it's also good that the two of us are always trying to fix the problem and not attack each other. There's no pride or ego that's in the way. So if Slater points out that, you know what, I feel bad because you said this or you did this, then it's easy for me to say like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to make you feel that way. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Whereas if pride and ego was in the picture, then I would say, no, it's your fault. I hate you. I'm perfect. Whatever. So then that doesn't really happen. Next question is, what is his sweetest and most unforgettable moment of courtship with you? So many, there's too oh much God. to count. No, I don't know. Slater isn't your typical romantic guy, but I really appreciate the little things that he does. Example. When he, when, example, when he sees that I'm having a really bad day, he'll always be there for me, spend time with me, even though he himself is really busy. Or if he's stressed out or he has allergies and I need to have my photo taken, he will really go out of his way to make sure that I get my photo taken. You know what I mean? It's the little things. It's not the big grand gestures na. One time lang he'll send me flowers and then that's it. The rest of the month he's an absentee boyfriend. Hindi siya ganon. Like it's every day consistent na I know he really cares about me and he really wants to make this relationship work. Ah, uh, paminsan binibilhan ko siya ng mahal na bag to make her feel better. Like when has that ever happened? You wish. Like when? <laughs> Next question: How do you maintain your happy mood when you are together? We don't always have a happy mood. We don't always have happy moods. We have like, like people. we have moods where we're like so tenga lang, like we don't really feel anything. We're just chill. Yeah, I, I was just sleeping. Yeah, he was just sleeping for like an hour, five minutes ago. We're not always doing stuff. I think it's also Slater's personality. He's always cracking jokes, so it's always making the environment lighter. And because he makes me feel so comfortable around him, I can just be myself. I can be my weird self. But what's important here is that you don't feel that you have to be happy and perky all the time, because especially in the days. 
of social media when we see all these happy couples posting photos. We have to remember that those are their highlights, their highest moments of their lives, and they're not always like that. We're not always like that. So if you put the expectation on your relationship to be always happy, you're gonna mess it up. There's, there's a really pressure good. to be happy that's not normal. Yeah. And so you're gonna get happiness anxiety, like, oh, I need to be happy all the time, and then that's just not normal. And it's you're gonna have really, real. really high expectations. Right. Unrealistic. How do you keep your sanity with work-life, love-life balance? Especially right now that we're really, really busy. Uh, we're building a house, we're getting married, uh, we have Tenghun. Um, and we have work on the side, yeah. a lot of work on the side, travels work here in Cebu. Mm -hmm. We just try to spend time with each other as much as possible, right? Yeah, and I think it's also not pressuring each other so much. For example, if I know Slater has had a bad day but I need to talk about stuff for the wedding and he doesn't feel like it, I'm not gonna pressure him. Nah. No, we have to do it now! A few days ago, Slater was telling me that he's always had goals for himself at work. Get this much money or to like achieve this much, to grow my business this much. But I've also realized that some things are more important than work. Some yeah. things are more important than striving to be like number one all the time. For example, your relationships, your relationship with your loved ones, your friends, your family. It's always like not putting one ahead and putting everybody else behind, but like trying to make everybody equal. When people ask me about advice when it comes to balancing their life and their business, I always say life plan first before business plan. I think that's the key there. Yeah. How to handle your expectations not being met in a relationship? I think this is a very important question because a lot of the times people go into relationships and they expect like for example, I'm gonna go into this relationship with my dream guy, I expect that every time it's my birthday or every time it's Valentine's Day, he has a surprise for me. I expect that he's gonna tell me that he loves me and that I'm beautiful every single day. And once that guy doesn't do any of these things that you're expecting him to do, automatically you feel bad or naga away kayo. So kailangan, in my opinion, there's no expectation so that every time that this person does something for you, you're thankful and you're surprised and you're thankful and you're happy that it ha it's happening. It's not like it's something expected. Maybe the question should be, you should ask yourself, are you meeting his expectations as well? And I'm pretty sure you're probably not. Again, with Instagram, our expectations for each other have been like, Super taas na. So, para sa akin, be normal. Just keep it chill. Just be happy with what you already have. Who is to you? And love shouldn't be about receiving things all the time. I yeah. feel this is very important to say. Like, it should be about what you can give to the other person. Like, I love this person so much. I'm willing to do A B C D E for him. But mm -hmm. it's not like. I love this person so much, I'm expecting him to do A, B, C, D, E for me. Just think of giving more than receiving. When did Slater know that you were the one? Love how you guys are so goofy together. Ah, uh, hmm. hmm. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me know, let me yeah, know. She's the goofy one and the guapo one. Oh my god. There's no exact moment when I thought that Chris was the one. It was just a series of moments. Yeah, the first day you met me, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's just a series of moments when I realized that super swak ng personality namin. So I think it's more of I've found someone who's willing to take my also. Your quirks. Bleep. She's okay with my quirks and I'm okay with her quirks. And aside from that, we get along really, really well. Yeah. Um, this question was also one of the things that you guys asked a lot. So there was also one question where it was thrown at me. How did I know that Slater was the one? Slater has been someone that I really respect. And I, and I learned in this relationship that that's very important. Having respect for your partner. That both of you are equal. You see each other equally. And that whatever is important to him, I support. And I don't belittle. And the mm -hmm. same for him. Like He doesn't treat my work as something that or less than what he does. It, respect is very hard to find, but it's very important in a relationship. And because I saw that both of us had that for each other, that was definitely one of the things that made me realize that he's really Plus, I'm irresistible. Yeah. Plus, he's irresistible. How did Slater ask you to be his girlfriend? He just asked. Right? Yeah, he just asked. But you know what? You know what? I chose this question here because Slater was actually very respectful. Here again, we go with respect. Because when he was courting me, I asked him to wait a while because I wasn't ready. And he really waited. You know, a lot of guys, maybe especially now with Instagram, are so impatient. Like, what? I've been with you on ilang dates na. You won't allow me friend to be your boyfriend, or to be your girlfriend. A lot of my friends have had experiences like that. But Slater really waited for me. And well, I'm worth the wait. So what can I say? Worth the wait, you know, the bigot. <laughs> How do I become a less of a celosa, high maintenance girlfriend? Oh, hit up. 
<laughs> For me, honestly, it's okay to be high maintenance as long as you maintain yourself. Yeah. TBH. Because I'm high maintenance, but he doesn't need to do anything. You maintain yourself. Yeah, maintain yourself. So, okay lang. It's your life, right? Yeah. Celosa, on the other hand, there is a problem. Yeah, and it is. Being jealous of every single thing a guy does, it's a very big expectation on the relationship. I feel like it's just, how can you love someone if you don't trust that person? Yeah. How can you expect na to be together with that person in the long run if every single move is mo? You know what I mean? With Chris, I'm not celoso because I know that I'm a catch. <laughs> and I'm serious. <laughs> I didn't expect. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should be able to have enough confidence in yourself. I don't know what you answer niya, serious <laughs> siya. <laughs> It's true! You should have enough confidence in yourself to know that, okay, I am someone worth loving. That's what, uh -oh. what I'm saying. <laughs> so yes, so you if are someone ever worth you plan to cheat on me, might as well do it now and get it over with and I'll, I'll find someone new. In the past three years that we've been dating each other, yeah. we never put rules on each other. So if he wants to go out with his friends, go. Or if ako, I want to travel with my girlfriends, go. Okay lang. Kasi there's no point in putting someone in a cage. Tapos the moment na mawawala yung cage, hmm. tatakbo siya. Maghahanap siya ng iba. Diba? Like, dapat from the start, wala na yung cage para makikita mo early on if he really loves you or she really loves you. Yeah. This question is funny. It's not about a relationship, but I feel like a lot of people are also wondering about this. How many black shirts does Slater have? You guys notice on Instagram or whenever I put Instagram stories of Slater, he's always wearing a black shirt. And what's the reason, love? Explain. I have so many decisions to make in a day that I don't want to have one more decision to make. Right? You can't be bothered. Yeah. So it gets me out of the door quickly yeah, in the mornings because I just get my shirts. It's all like a stack of black shirts. So to answer your question, he has 50 black shirts. <laughs> when to know if it's the right time to get married? I think that a lot of couples also today get married for the wrong reasons. I'm not saying all, but I'm saying I know some. Na they're having problems with their relationship and they think that marriage, getting married is the way to fix it. I think that marriage is a very big step. So if there's even an ounce of doubt in you, talk it over first before you go to that next step, before you get married. Because yeah. marriage won't fix your problems. In fact, siguro, it's gonna add long to your problems because you're taking a different step, eh? you're entering a new chapter in your life. So there's so many new things entering that you have to deal with. Uh, even just trying to get married is hard. Yeah, oh my God, the planning guys. planning and everything, the expenses. <sighs> it's so stressful, but it's okay. Like. Honestly, Slater and I are pretty chill about it. Like, we're just taking it a day at a time and helping each other out. I feel like it's the same question as oh, when did you know that she was the one? When you know she's the one, you actually picture yourself growing old with that person. So, when I was able to see that uh, with Chris, it was fairly easy to say, okay, I want to get married with this girl. What are your takes on exes? Exes. A lot of couples also are very, ah, don't talk to this person because ex mo and I'm jealous. So I never really had that, no? Because neither of us gave the other person a reason to feel bad. Because we were always on the same page all the time, there was no reason to doubt or put rules. Mm -hmm. For long-term relationships, how do you keep the spark or kilig? Oh my gosh, and dami rin nagtatanong nito. Oh, and some people are also asking how long we've been together. Slater and I have been dating for three years. We were two years pa lang when, when he proposed. So three years, is that long? Yeah, fairly long. I don't know. Maybe because I'm such a lovable person. You don't need to have extra spark or kilig, right? Now. Okay. When we first started dating, we always did different things. Like every weekend or long weekend, we'd go on road trips, we would travel. But now, as the relationship progressed, we're just getting so lazy, which I think is normal. Because I think we're doing so much preparing for the wedding and stuff. But I think, siguro, that's how much I love Slater. Na it doesn't really matter if we're not doing anything, even if the whole day natutulog lang siya. It's okay. Or if we're just in my house, or we're just in his house with his family, like it. I, I don't expect that every single day we gonna up kami. and it's okay. And I think that proves a lot to relationship natin. What was the most difficult time in your relationship and how did you overcome that? A lot of people also ask me this. I think a lot of people are wondering if we fight because on Instagram we seem so happy. There's always fights from time to time. But 
You know, sometimes when I was younger, I used to nitpick every single thing that I did not like about my girlfriend then. Those started a lot of fights. What I notice right now with me and Chris is that she finds those little things in me, but she like lets it go. And I, I, I feel the same way towards her. Letting go of those small things that doesn't really matter in the long run. Let her do her thing, let me do my thing. Gives a lot of comfort. My space ka to move yeah. in the relationship. The relationship Kumbaga, you're not yeah. restricted. How do you cope with constant exposure care of Chris's vlogs? So I guess the person who asked is doesn't know Slater. He actually used to be an actor before. If I'm used to exposure, I'm used na siya. to being exposed. <laughs> used to being exposed. I'm happy that Slater is no longer an actor because I don't think I can deal with all the hate and like politics and people expecting you to be someone. We just watched Crazy Rich Asians and I heard that the guy who played Nick Young just got married and he was pulled out of his honeymoon to shoot the movie. Oh my gosh, if feeling ko Slater yun, naga honeymoon kami, tapos he's gonna be pulled out to do a film. I'll feel so bad. So it's I'm so happy that he's not acting anymore. <laughs> Does being known affect your relationship? I think known. Not really. It's not like para kami si James Sui that si Nadine. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also nice because you guys are so respectful. I know a lot of social media people online also get a lot of hate, but you guys are rooting for us this whole time. So yeah. thank you so much for all your support. We really appreciate it. You guys have been awesome. True, true. How do you set your indifferences? I'm Martha and he's super simple. I think what she's trying to say is how do you live with your differences? I'm super simple and, and she's I'm Martha. Martha. <laughs> but it's okay. I think it's back to giving each other space to do their own thing. I'm really Martha. I like to dress up. I like to put on makeup and have skincare routines and everything. And Slater does not care about these things at all. But it's okay. It's okay if he wears a black t-shirt every day. I don't mind. If, and he doesn't mind if I spend hours in the salon. You know, just be you. Ooh. Who spends money on dates? Mm. We take turns. So sometimes later, sometimes me. Sometimes I pay for the flight, he pays for the hotel. Sometimes it's like that. So it really depends. Balance. Yeah. But I also know some couples now, it's really just the guy who pays. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't want that. I don't want that. But it really depends for a couple, I would say, you know? Was there a moment that you caught a girl flirting with Slater and what did you do? Actually, what happened to man? What happened to man? And good thing you didn't ask if I caught Slater flirting with a girl. That's a different story. If I caught Slater flirting with a girl, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. But put it in the Who says sorry first every time you have an LQ? I Me, mean, I always say sorry first. I don't think so. That's just the way I am. <laughs> I don't think so. But it's the first time it's most of the time. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Is it normal to meet your partner every day? Is it healthy for long term? I don't see why it's not healthy. I mean, if you guys are serious with each other and you're planning to spend the rest of your lives together, why would it be a problem to see that person every day? Yeah, it's not a problem, but you have to have your own lives. Yeah. yeah. We see each other almost every day, but during the big part of the day, we're. At, I'm at work, she's at work. We it's, do our own thing. Yeah, it helps you stop being clingy also. If, for example, I'm at work and si Chris will not go out all day. She'd just be waiting around for me and I'll feel bad and she'll feel bad because I'm not there. Yeah. yeah. You need to same yung pagka busy nyo. Yeah. So if since he's super busy and I'm super busy, it's okay. Hello po, Miss Chris. Gi unsa ni mo pag antos ang kabuli ni Slater? Mm, good question. Uh, um, <laughs> on Instagram, I'm the bully. But on re bully. in real life, she's like the totoong bully. Really like paano? Hmm? Like paano? Paano like, ang bully? Like, um... She bites my nipple. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> See? What are the fave things you do during bonding time? During bonding times, Slater and I like to watch movies all the time. We like to Netflix and chill here in my office. We like to not do anything, actually. We're a very simple couple. We're a very simple couple. So Nothing out of the ordinary. Chill lang. Went 200 friends. Um. Oh yeah, we like spending time with our friends a lot. Having dinner with them lang or chilling in someone's house. That's like our everyday thing. Getting old. <laughs> it's not getting old. It's just what we love doing. Okay. How has wedding planning affected your relationship? It hasn't really. 
Hasn't really. I think it's because both of us are pretty chill about it and we both also are busy with certain things. Like I'm the one planning the wedding and he's the one planning the house. So we respect each other to take leads mm -hmm. on certain things. So Is it true that more showy couples on social media mean that they are not really happy? I don't think that's true because Slater and I are very PDA on Instagram, but we're so happy. So I don't think that's true. Depends, Siguro. If you're doing it for just so you have something to post on Instagram, ah, yeah, that's a yeah. problem. But I also heard somebody say, you know, oh, you know, you shouldn't say I love you a lot to your partner because it means that you're hiding something and you don't really love I'm like, what? I was just making these dumb rules. I want to say I love you. I want to say it 20 times. It doesn't matter. So, depends talaga. guy. I guess just stop trying to put meaning on everything. Does Slater have a say when it comes to wearing bikinis or sexy outfits? As long as she's not being like an insta ho, <laughs> I'm okay with it. Yeah. I think this is one of the things that I brought up with him when we first started dating. Like, um, are you sure you're okay to date me? This is my personality. Like, this is what I do. I'm, I'm out. 80% of the time, I'm posting bikini photos and he said from the get-go that he was okay with it and he actually never went back on his word. Yeah, because I know I'm a catch. <laughs> How do you solve issues about your arguments? And this is the last question. When we really talk it out, try as hard as possible not to put any emotions into it and just try to understand the other side instead of like being carried away with your anger. Uh oh, that's I feel like a lot of the fights that I witness or I hear from my friends, it's always you trying to be the victim. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to deal with one thing, like you're fighting about A, but since you fixed na yung A and hindi mo nakuha yung gusto mong emotion from him, you bring up mo yung B, yung C, yung D, yung E. So yeah. parang never ending yung fight. Kailangan just fix the problem and then. Tapos. And we've always fixed what what problem we're arguing about. Never something that we've already argued. Oh, remember two years ago you did this, you did that. You have to let that go. Yeah. Alright guys, so those are all the questions that we have for you today. If you guys like this video, then please leave a thumbs up, a comment down below if you guys want to see this guy more often. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.